What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. So we're going to be talking about Final Destination 6 in this video here again today. AKA Final Destination Bloodlines is what we know it to be tentatively titled as according to the audition tapes and according to the production weekly listings for it. And we know that it was supposed to start filming this month in Canada. But of course it's on pause due to the writer's strike and the sack strike. I put out a video of some uh, visual evidence for you guys to see that it was one of the AMPTP productions delayed due to the strikes, the ongoing strikes. But we'll be talking about Jeffrey Reddick, who created the series and his recent comments with Perry from Collider on what we should expect going into Found Destination 6. And he's confirming that the film is ready to go. But again, we know what's currently holding the project up. He said this when speaking with Perry, there is a sixth one that's planned the minute again the AMPTP comes back to the table, that movie is ready to go. It's just nice as a genre fan to have something created that has become a part of the public zeitgeist. Again, I couldn't have asked for more. He went on to also say this, talking about the writers a little bit, talking about Guy from Scream 5 and Scream 6, but I'm going to go into the part where he started talking about John Watts, who's also part of this, you know, the person behind the recent Spider-Man movies. So he said, and then John Watts, who was behind the new Spider-Man movies, came up with a story. I mean, I was just like, this is the, f the effing A-team. Craig will tell me stuff, and I can't repeat it, obviously, because I'm very good at that, because I know I don't want to spoil anything, but every time that I've heard anything that they're doing or any scene that they're doing or planning, it just makes me smile. The fans are going to be, it's going to be well worth the wait. That's what he had to say in terms of getting us hyped, and from his perspective of what they are cooking up for Final Destination 6. Now, he did tease an expansion of sorts that I kind of want to speculate on after I after I get done reading this. In another interview with Collider, the same interview probably with Perry, but a different uh, article, he said that there's an expansion of the world of Final Destination that I think fans are going to be really interested in and intrigued by. When I say it doesn't add a layer, it's not just, hey, if you murder somebody in your place, you'll live. It kind of unearths a whole deep layer to the story that kind of, yes, makes it really, really interesting. Now, I will say this. Keep in mind, we know that Final Destination 6 is following a young woman named Stephanie who has a recurring dream about dying in a fire that occurred in the 1960s. She realizes it's not just a dream, but a premonition of the fate that awaits her family. And her grandmother had escaped the same fate years ago. I've told you guys, these could all still be code names. Stephanie has a grandmother who is named Esther. She, of course, also has a brother. But Esther saved a bunch of people from a tower collapse many decades ago. And what I think could be going on and what Jeffrey could be teasing is the fact that maybe there is a strong chance that a lot of the other previous entries, they are people related to folks that unfortunately, not unfortunately, but in, in death sick head, unfortunately, they are relatives from the people who survived that tower collapse that Esther saved people from. They all had families and we've been seeing those relatives slowly die over time from each movie since this series inception in 2000 maybe that's what's going on maybe that's how it's expanding and maybe that's the overall twist that we'll come come to find out about as it pertains to esther and this tower collapse and how she saved so many people because in the audition tapes there is a bit talking about how death had been working its way up to esther and her family because of the fact that so many other families existed due to Esther's interference from that tower collapse that she saved everyone from. So we'll just have to see if that's indeed what the twist will be. I have a strong feeling that's what it will be. Of course, it might not be. It could be something completely different. Or maybe there's multiple twists and ways this could expand on what we already know and love about Final Destination. But I sincerely do have a feeling that going off of the story details that haven't been stated by anyone directly involved with the production but they're lining up with the audition tapes and from the official production listings that are detailing the story i have a feeling it's going to be tied into that tower collapse that saved a bunch of people and then those same people went on to have families and we've been seeing their loved ones die 
in Final Destination, Final Destination 2, Final Destination 3, Final Destination 4, Final Destination 5, and it's worked its way up to Esther and her family, and that is what will play out in Final Destination 6, Bloodlines. But you guys can let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, let me know any movies, news, or reviews you like me to cover in the future, and I will add this if you bother asking me about the cast. No, I do not know anything about who who is starring in this film with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video